BYD is set to launch its new solid-state battery to the market. This battery promises to replace the lithium battery in vehicles with a battery that is almost three times as powerful in performance. You'll be impressed by what this battery is capable of achieving. Just keep watching. BYD has just announced that its solid-state batteries will be rolled out in 2027 before mass-scale adoption from 2030. This isn't just any rumor. This announcement was confirmed by the CTO of BYD's lithium battery company, Sun Huajun. He said that the new solid-state batteries will use sulfide electrolytes. He added that pilot production began in 2024, and so far it includes the production of 20-amp-hour and 60-amp-hour solid-state batteries. There are also strong speculations that the solid-state batteries will be introduced in BYD, mid- and high-end electric vehicles starting in 2027. As these advanced new batteries become cheaper to produce, BYD could begin to roll them out to its more affordable EVs between 2030 and 2032. In the long term, the company expects solid-state batteries to cost about the same as existing battery technologies. This news may come as a shock to many. This is because, before this confirmation took place, BYD, in several reports, had denied having plans to introduce solid-state batteries to the market. In fact, they described these reports as false and said that everything was still unknown regarding this deployment. Now, with this confirmation, we can tie their initial denial of solid-state batteries to the following reasons. First, BYD is one of the biggest electric car makers in the world and a big reason for their success is the type of battery they use, the blade battery. These batteries are already used in most of BYD's popular cars, like the BYD Dolphin and the Addo 3. They've built factories and signed major contracts just to produce more of them. BYD knew that if they admitted the solid-state plans too soon, it might make people think their current blade batteries weren't good anymore even though they still are. That kind of confusion could make customers hesitate about buying BYD cars and could also worry investors who've put money into the company. That could be one reason why they remain low-key about solid-state batteries initially. Second, when we step back and think about BYD, it's a company experiencing the most explosive growth we've seen in the auto business in over 100 years. To put numbers to it, in 2020, BYD sold about 400,000 cars. This year, it sold more than 5 million. In 2020, BYD had zero exports. This year, they're exporting hundreds of thousands of vehicles all over the world to Australia, the UK, Mexico, and Brazil. There's almost no market they're not in, outside the United States and Canada. Third is valuation. BYD is now the third most valuable automaker in the world, after Tesla and Toyota. Another factor is competition. BYD is one of the top companies making electric cars, but they're not alone. They're in a race with other major players like Cattle, Toyota, Samsung, and QuantumScape. So when BYD publicly denied that it was testing solid-state batteries in its cars, it may have been a strategy to hide how far along they actually were. By doing this, BYD could keep experimenting and improving its solid-state batteries without tipping off competitors or making promises before the technology was ready. It also gave them time to fix issues, make improvements, and choose the right moment to launch. The reasons for the initial denial are quite reasonable. However, now that it's in the spotlight, here's what we know about BYD's new solid-state batteries. So, what does BYD's solid-state battery offer? According to Chinese media, BYD's solid-state battery impressed with its charging performance, especially when paired with a super-fast megawatt charger. BYD claims that with certain models, like the Han L, charging could be as quick as filling up at a gas station. When the BYD Seal EV was equipped with a solid-state battery, the vehicle was reportedly able to travel 1,500 kilometers or 932 miles on a single charge with just 12 minutes of charging. It's important to note that this was based on an 80% charge. That means the EV could potentially travel up to 1,875 kilometers on a full charge. This charging performance surpasses other legacy automakers' projected solid-state innovations. For example, Toyota which has already begun working on solid-state prototypes, claims its vehicle could travel up to 1,200 kilometers on a single charge. When compared side-by-side, side, BYD already appears to be ahead in this area. Another standout feature of BYD's solid-state battery is energy density. BYD confirmed that its solid-state battery has an energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram which is almost twice that of traditional liquid-state batteries. However, compared to some upcoming solid-state cells, 
it doesn't rank at the very top. When the BYD SEAL EV was equipped with a solid-state battery, the vehicle was reportedly able to travel 1,500 kilometers or 932 miles on a single charge with just 12 minutes of charging. It's important to note that this was based on an 80% charge. That means the EV could potentially travel up to 1,875 kilometers on a full charge. This charging performance surpasses other legacy automakers' projected solid-state innovations. For example, Toyota, which has already begun working on solid-state prototypes, claims its vehicle could travel up to 1,200 kilometers on a single charge. When compared side-by-side, side, BYD already appears to be ahead in this area. Another standout feature of BYD's solid-state battery is energy density. BYD confirmed that its solid-state battery has an energy density of 400 watt-hours per kilogram, which is almost twice that of traditional liquid-state batteries. However, compared to some upcoming solid-state cells, it doesn't rank at the very top. Recently, battery manufacturers such as Talent New Energy announced plans to mass produce an all-solid-state battery with ultra-high energy density. Their battery reportedly reaches around 700 watt-hours per kilogram, setting records for single-cell capacity and energy density. With this in mind, BYD appears to be taking a more conservative approach in the first phase, likely focusing on stability and real-world performance. If everything goes well, higher energy densities can be expected in later versions. As mentioned earlier, these batteries are expected to enter production around 2027. However, analysts predict that early electric cars using solid-state batteries will cost more than those using today's liquid-based batteries. BYD believes that by 2030, solid-state battery costs will fall enough to match current battery prices. This means that in just a few years, EVs with solid-state batteries could cost the same as today's electric cars but offer longer range and faster charging. So what does the future hold for BYD? When BYD finally rolls out these solid-state batteries, it will likely create major excitement in the stock market. Many investors have waited years for this kind of technology because it promises to improve electric cars in nearly every way. If BYD successfully deploys solid-state batteries at scale, it will be seen not just as a car maker, but as a major technology leader. That reputation alone could drive its stock price higher. As production gets closer and official announcements increase, the stock could rise purely on anticipation. If BYD delivers on its promises, vehicle demand and profits could grow significantly. This could become a major win for BYD on every front. Earlier, it was mentioned that BYD aims to bring solid-state battery costs down to the level of liquid batteries. You might wonder how that's possible. The answer is scale. Solid-state batteries currently cost three to five times more than conventional batteries. But BYD is building large factories capable of producing them in massive volumes. 